Alrighty guys, it's been a little while but I'm back playing some Rust on console today. It's actually the uh, day after Forced Wipe, so I'm going to have no blueprints but neither will anyone else. And I think this this uh, map has oil ring too. Yeah dude. Both large and small oil rig, so I'm pretty keen to check those out at some point. They're going to be very heavily contested. Um, by clans, but you know, I'm sure we can uh, cause a bit of trouble Check them out, but the plan for today is just gonna be to you know get a little base set up Try and get a few of the basic blueprints learnt and yeah, have a have a good time This map is kind of stacked dude. I mean we got treatment in the snow This this side here is gonna be so chock-a-block with launch Damn dude, even like kind of where I am might not be bad. Maybe somewhere in the middle here? Just like a little base near outpost, train yard, sewer. Uh, hello. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid now has over 600 champions. These champions are all unique and come from different factions within the world of Teleria. But today, we're talking about one of my absolute favorite factions from the game, the Orcs. The Orcs have had it fairly rough to be honest. Their lands were taken over following an epic battle against the High Elves, Banner Lords and Sacred Order. Now the Orcs pretty much roam Teleria as nomads. If you guys want to know more about the Orcs and their story, then download Raid and try out the campaign mode. One of my absolute favourite Orc champions to use is Nodgar the Headhunter, who is this badass Orc highly skilled in combat, and he just looks freaking cool man. But then there's also Iron Brago, who's a thick boy with a cool moustache. Iron Brago is skilled in defense, and you just want him on your side during battle. I love having the ability to switch between manual and auto battles while you're in the PvP arenas. Sometimes I just like sitting back, relaxing, and watching the battle unfold. So by clicking the auto button down the bottom left here, you can do just that. I'm also a big fan of the ability to upgrade and customize your champion's artifacts, skills, and mastery, so you can choose just what type of deadly you want your champion to be. This is the best time to get started in Raid, and if you click my link in the description or scan the QR code here on the screen, you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. We're talking a free epic champion in Vergus, 200k silver, an energy refill, an XP boost, and an ancient shard, so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in the game. All of this treasure will be waiting for you right here, and is redeemable for the next 30 days for new players only. Thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. So yeah, let's wait for daytime real quick, and then we'll get started. Alrighty. So the plan is to hit a few barrels, get to outpost, do some recycling. Hey, come on, man. Hey, come on, man. Hey, hey, come on, man. Hey, man. Hey, come on, man. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> I get him. Ooh, red suit. Hello. Hell yeah. <laughs> Man, if we could just take over a base, that'd be ideal. Ooh, ladder? So close to a metal door. We'll just get a few more um, components so I can get 150 metal frags. 
whack down a metal door. And then we're rolling. Looking good. Oh god. I knew it was a trap base too. I still went in. Well, that was lucky. <laughs> so lucky. Maybe we'll go across near sewer. We'll just find a spot that's kind of like quiet. Which I'm not sure we're going to find around this area, but we'll see. See how we go. Holy. I mean, safety in numbers, I guess. Other than a few standard early game deaths, this run had gone reasonably smooth so far. I had enough to whack down a small wooden base, and I liked the look of the desert island near Sewer Branch. I found a pretty epic spot at the top of a rock formation. Yes. You can even see oil from here. Hell yeah. and pretty quickly found out how populated this area was <laughs> and how impossible it was to scale this rock to access my base. Ah, easy. <laughs> so as I regularly do, I decided to find another home. Okay, let's try this out. I really like the snow. I really like the snow. And like water treatment's always good. So we'll just see what's going on out here just before I commit you know too much to building on that freaking rock <laughs> it was I like the idea but uh, in reality maybe maybe not the most functional base so we just head to this road get a few comps get a sleeping bag down after roaming for a bit I settled on this grassy area south of the map next to the road some pylons and harbor it was a pretty busy area, but not too many huge bases were around, so I thought it'd be good for a solo start. Alright, we need some sort of weapon, man. There's too many geared people around. Damn, you get a Tommy for 450 cloth. Semi auto pistol. Uh, give me a crossy or something. It's been a rough start. It's always tricky on force wipe if you're not on on wipe day. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Just gotta, just gotta persist. Oh my god. We go again. We go again. After many more deaths, I finally got a little door on my little 2x1 and headed out to farm some barrels. Yes, okay. Alright. 
All right, all right, all right. Okay, we can do something with this. Maybe. <laughs> Ooh, we gotta go home. We gotta go home right now. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I don't have a TC. I got a jackhammer. That's not a bad little run, to be honest. That loop around. Around the pylons. Yes, dude. Home sweet home. <laughs> okay. Cool. Now we just need a TC. Could recycle at lighthouse. It's probably a bit safer. Man, so many components around here. Get a shoddy trap? Nice man. Right, let's get out of here. Oh bro, when he yeeted that <laughs> that spear at me. I think my heart skipped a beat. We should really get some um, furnaces cranking as well before I have a break. Very nice. That'll be enough for two furnaces. So yeah, we'll whack these down, chuck some uh, some ore and wood in them, get them cranking. And then I'm going to go grab some coffee just to increase my heart rate a little bit more from this stressful beginning. <laughs> that was the plan anyway, but of course I got distracted trying to PvP and rage quit for a coffee break instead. Okay, okay, <laughs> let's have a fucking break. Oh my god. Okay, so I forgot to click record. <laughs> But I managed to run everything across from my uh, starter base over at Sewer. Made it home safely. And I've just got a few furnaces down, made a tier one. And that's where we're up to. So we're ready to head out. It's just going morning. So we're going to go out and hit some barrels, get some comps, and uh, see if we can get ourselves a weapon, whether it's via tech tree or who knows, maybe you know, finding, finding a DB or something, or maybe killing someone, who knows.
Yeah, that base is built up pretty quick. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Ah, oh, he was loaded, dude. <laughs> yes. Now I'm just gonna get home. Ah, yes. So good. So good. Okay. ourselves a little bone knife for from now on for farming the animals gives you just that little bit more I think I'm gonna learn a uh, metal hatchet Okay, well, I think what we'll do is let's go take some wood over to that base that's just put up the high external wooden walls and see if we can do a little, a little something cheeky. So the base I wanted to check out is like over here, I think, near Oxums. These are the kind of things as a solo that just really get me going, you know, <laughs> get me excited. furnaces down. Didn't even see that before. Man, that's going to be an easy build-in. Ah, they're online though. They got three gates? So unnecessary. Imagine if he was loading up the um, furnaces. Oh, he is. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Just need him to leave the base. Ah, oh, mother... F no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, dude. It's so unlucky. What was his name? Skittles or something? One's leaving. Yeah, do I just try? Okay, okay, 
okay. How do we get out? I can't be stressing. Stressing? But... I was gonna say, can you please move the... Oh my god. I was gonna say, can you please get like the chip bag and all that, but it doesn't matter because you're on me. Oh my god. Can you please get me like the chip bag and stuff? Shaken. That guy's teammate is gonna be livid. That's a lot of metal. It's a lot of metal. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. things I really want from tier one uh like pistol ammo revy shot maybe shoddy potentially satchels but and like ladder but for the most part I think I've pretty much got all those components like all those items I just gotta research them so I think we'll pick up the tier one whack down the tier two and then I gotta expand this base a little bit oh yeah nice nice Where's my base now though ready to head back. That was fast. Man, this is a good spot to farm. Fire out, man. I just can't help myself, man. <laughs> A running recycler. <laughs> just can't help but check it out. Oof. 
That's as high as we're gonna go. Like, I think that's about it. I think that's our base done. I'm just gonna honeycomb the um, TC. It's not the most exciting base, but uh, gets the job done. So from here, you guys have probably seen this base before. It's just like a wraparound situation. So you just have double doors pretty much the whole way through and eventually get garage doors there. Alright, well, now that the base is feeling pretty secure, what I'm going to do is go and farm a bit of wood, get the furnaces smelting, and then I'm going to have a break for a bit, go have some dinner, take the doggo for a walk, and hopefully we're not raided by the time we get back. So I've just logged into <laughs> so dude's getting rocketed at mining. Oh no way. Oh man. I was hoping it'd be like a kid and dude that got rocketed, but we'll take that. We'll still take that. Yeah boy. We could potentially snag a Tommy, if it's only one dude. Hey, I'm friendly, I'm friendly. There was a Tommy shooting around here, just recently. Do you know where it was? Yeah, I did not know. I think it was probably straight ahead, maybe. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, good. Alright, man. I'll leave you to it. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. I know why some people's mics are so AIDS, dude. Oh man, it's a little recycling. I think next we'll do the roof and then we'll worry about the, the honeycomb. Sweet. Um, and then let's have a look at this tech tree. Man, Sarah's actually so far down. I wonder if anyone's selling it. Ooh, a SAR for 150 crude. And how much crude do we actually have? Oh man. 
I don't need all that. We could go buy both Sa and <laughs> Sa and MP5. I need tier 3 to craft uh, MP5. Alright, oil rig. Here we come. Obviously not right now. I gotta get home. Not long after that, I got a Yoka grubbed while trying to get a green card from Lighthouse. And on the way back over, trying to deal some revenge, some action at a small coastal base piqued my interest. Where's the other guy? Come on, man, I need wood. <laughs> need wood. Why are the boxes not opening? Oh, they're locked. Okay, okay, I need to break these. Nothing in that? Are you kidding me?
Holy, he's got Tommy? Oh man. It's actually no wood. It's not even any metal frags. I can't even make a door, dude. Well, I'm gonna wait till morning. These guys haven't clued onto the fact that I don't have TC. So, like they're just sitting at the door. They're not doing anything. There's not really anything else I can do here though. That's the only problem. So I'm thinking I try and kill these guys and then I quickly farm up a little bit of wood, get a TC down. Surely they didn't actually die. Feels good. <laughs> Feels good, dude. I had finally sealed my little counter raid, so I transferred the rest of the loot back to my base, and then I wanted to check out small oil rig that wasn't too far from the east of my base. I knew I was under-equipped with only a Tommy and low-tier armor, but we'd give it a red-hot crack. And by red hot crack, I mean I was dropped in the water by a scuba kit while trying to board the rig sneakily. Wait, what? Oh, fuck. Can uh. hell. Can <laughs> hell, dude. And that's how you take small oil as a solo. Sadly, after that, I wasn't able to play the rest of this wipe due to life commitments, but I had a great time nonetheless. I'd made some plays, made some enemies, and very nearly conquered small oil rig. Oh, fuck. And I look forward to taking on that challenge as a solo in the near future. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Please leave a comment and like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll be back real soon with some more solo Rust adventures.